Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I wanted to talk about a game that's just kind of been sitting on my radar for a little while now. It's been called a spiritual successor to Stalker, and at least in the art department, it certainly looks like it fits that title. The game I'm talking about is Chernobyl, and this is why I'm excited for its console release tomorrow, September 28th. Now, I've played my fair share of Stalker in Tarkov, and at least over the last few years, I feel that the Chernobyl slash Soviet despair vibes have increased pretty dramatically in popularity. So I right now, especially on console, see a very big audience that is looking for more games of this aesthetic. There are tons of players on console who now understand what Stalker and Tarkov are. Games with a focus on gritty brutal atmosphere and a more open exploration based format. So there's this massive vacuum in the casual market of people looking for Russian slash apocalyptic type games. And I think there's going to be a huge advantage to the first game that can pull it off effectively, which release date wise, Chernobyl is first in line. Now, I should absolutely clarify here, I don't even necessarily believe all these games should be as closely compared as I'm doing right now. They all have pretty different gameplay formats, and realistically, Chernobyl is more of a story game. Following release, there's probably going to be a very large influx of players that slowly tapers off and will eventually transfer towards Stalker 2 when it releases. That's just how it works out timing-wise. Simply put, Stalker 2 looks to have a much larger developmental resource pool, and funding being put towards it is much greater. So either way, it's going to take a large portion of the player base regardless of what the Chernobyl devs do here. But that being said, if they manage to pull off some sort of live service update schedule, and maybe even add some form of multiplayer, whether that be in the form of co-op or PvP, or whatever feels more comfortable to them, they might be able to capture enough replayability to keep people hooked on the game. Now granted, take all of my opinions on the game specifically with a grain of salt seeing as I haven't played it yet because I'm waiting for it to release tomorrow. And on that note, I feel like I've been talking about theoretical marketing for a bit too long now, so I'm going to shift gears and talk more about the game itself, because I'm sure that's why a large percent of you are here. So let me give you the spark notes rundown for Chernobyl. The game is a mostly narrative driven single player experience with elements of survival horror and RPG character management. There's also a Fallout-esque base building system, and recruitable survivors who will help you progress through the game by doing a series of missions throughout the Chernobyl area. There are also strong themes of mental instability and supernatural occurrences, all of which operate as obstacles that you'll have to face in order to find your wife, which is the premise of the main story. The environment building shown off in this game is really what catches my attention. Because, like I said earlier, the most important element for this genre is how effectively it can build an atmosphere. The developers have a short series of videos on the official Chernobyl YouTube channel talking about how they went on a business trip to Chernobyl in person to take photogrammetry scans of the environment and really put that extra effort that absolutely shows in their work. So overall, there's a pretty large gap in the market for this style of game. The concept is familiar, but with a few twists here and there to spice it up, and the developers clearly went the extra mile to give the game the attention it deserves. Overall, I'm incredibly happy that I can even talk about these kinds of theoreticals, because this genre is one I never would have expected taking off as much as it has. There's something very enticing and unique about Chernobyl as a setting in video games, and hopefully Chernobyl can pull it off as well as its peers did. So that is why I'm so excited for Chernobyl. Hopefully it will live up to my expectations when I start playing through it tomorrow. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.